first off, we get from Berkeley, California, which is uh, explanation enough of the that's weirdness it. that's yeah, that going to be inside. Berkeley sends us uh, this book, 277 Secrets Your Dog Wants You to Know. Oh, okay. Unusual and useful information about your dog. My dog, says the book, sniffs stool from other dogs and even tries to eat it. Now, what can I do? Okay, these are all questions. Now, these are these are all answers for the odd things that your dog does. No, wait a minute. Let's skip that. Oh, let's, all right. Let's answer that one in case you wanted to answer that one. I got a better one coming up. <clears throat> dogs smell other dogs' stool as a way of learning about them. When dogs defecate, small anal glands on either side of the rectum add a strong smell. Hey, good morning, and hope you're enjoying rectum, that rectum talk. When you go rectum and anal all in one feces, all that in one sentence, we can just go ahead and skip on to the next one. Why does my male dog insist on grabbing my leg and thrusting against it at the most embarrassing times, like when our minister is visiting? And Why what can not? we do about it? <laughs> Wouldn't you if you were a dog? That should be the answer. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the answer from the uh, book says, uh, one reason dogs... Now, here's the, the question is nice. It says grabbing my leg and thrusting against it. It doesn't say humping, which is the word you want to use. But the answer, the person writing the book says, one reason dogs hump human legs <laughs> is that they may be extremely frustrated. No kidding. We can <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> Pretty much a telltale sign. Frustration, humping one's leg. <laughs> hey. yeah. Although we're horrified and embarrassed by it. They're getting laid. They... <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter. <laughs> they don't consider it wrong because they simply view it, view us as part of their pack. Sure they do. <laughs> pack this. <laughs> Many adult male dogs try to mount legs because they're sexually frustrated. <laughs> Female dogs are only in heat a couple times a year, and male dogs may not be able to do anything about it then either. So some dogs will mount anything, standing or lying still, including cats. Other male dogs, cushions, and yes, human legs, which are easy for them to get their own legs around. In addition to it being, <laughs> in addition to it being a substitute sexual activity, mounting is also a sign of dominance, a behavior pattern developed as a puppy and often reverted to when the older dog becomes excited. Oh man! Picking your dog up and putting him on top of your lap to stop him <laughs> is not <Dangerous>. good. <laughs> <laughs> just it's right that what is not they say good. Yes. Oh, no this way. is the last thing I'm gonna do is oh, pick the dog up uh, uh, in mid hump and put, put him, him on my lap. You hump my lap in front of everybody, so everybody can see, and not just the priest or the preacher. Oh, God. <laughs> Imagine they're talking about the dog prior to that, but since you picked the dog up, they're talking about you. Hey, the dog was humping his leg, and he liked it. Now the guys pick him up, put him in his lap. Now the dog is humping his lap. Uh, um. All right, oh, let me find one more for you. <laughs> At what point does the priest <laughs> run out of the house? Um. <laughs> My dog. <laughs> My dog, I could have written this one. My dog passes some truly horrendous <laughs> gas. <laughs> what? <laughs> what can I do? Let him hump your lap. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cure. Oh. <laughs> the answer is leave the room. <laughs> Let him masturbate like other dogs. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously, gas can be caused by foods high in protein or a food allergy. So it says to, to switch foods. That's it? <laughs> well, That's it's a it. long explanation. We could have wrote this. <laughs> it's a switch long, foods. It's a long explanation. Oh, yeah. Pull my paw. One more. We'll get one more. Pull my paw. <laughs> my dog sometimes sniffs me in embarrassing areas <laughs> before or after he humps your lap. <laughs> Just after I pick him up and let him hump my lap. Oh, Why? Well, Dr. Peter Neville, a top English consultant in animal <laughs> Wait behavior. Wait a second. Wait a second. Go back one real quick. What's the question in there? My dog sometimes sniffs me in embarrassing areas. Where? What the hell is this person doing? Are they kneeling on all fours? Or what? No, you get a dog, dog that's is... waist high. Waist high dog. Waist high dog will Stand thrust there. the nose oh, right in the yeah, crotch the area. Crotch. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it's got a lot yeah, of crotch sniffers out there, Jim. 
<laughs> a top English consultant in, in animal behavior, Dr. Peter Neville, writes in his book, Pet Sex, I'm getting that one, that, quote, it's all very natural for dogs to head for an area where there's lots of <laughs> scent information to be gleaned. <laughs> gleaned. Anytime you use a word like gleaned, it's a bad sign. It's like shaking hands in a world that we have so little sensory awareness of. They do things which are natural for them, no matter how rude it may be for the rest of us. It doesn't tell you how to get rid of it. So yeah, he a, just wants you to understand it. Yeah. <laughs> they like to do so that. So when someone's dog comes to your crotch. I understand. So one more time, if your dog is humping you in front of the uh, minister... Pick him up, put him on your lap. Put him on your lap.